Welcome back. In this episode, <laughs> Megan would like to ask all of us a Does question. Does anybody have a hard time organizing the cabinet? She creates some beautiful ketchup art. That's almost like a pizza art. Yeah. Has an oopsie with the seasoning. Gets in a fight with a can opener. Oh, I think it's time for a new can opener. <laughs> and shows us how to make delicious Ukrainian cabbage rolls. Today we're going to be making cabbage rolls. And how did you even find out about cabbage rolls? And the reason why I found out about them is because of you. Because <laughs> I wanted to know what you guys like to eat and what, what your you mom used to make. You people. <laughs> you people who? <laughs> Ukrainian people yeah. and Russian. People. People. So I think it, it's pretty similar across the board over there. Yeah. And... Yeah. So I started Googling and watching videos online, but the main way I learned was your mom. Yeah. So. What did my mom teach you? She taught me how to make them. <laughs> how to make the cabbage rolls. <laughs> All right. She came to visit and I kind of watched her do it and. Yeah. Was yeah. it hard or easy to make them? It's hard at first, but once you get the hang of it, it's going to be super easy. Okay, good. So try a couple times and then you're going to get the hang of it. What is a cabbage roll? It's a meat rolled up in a cabbage baked. Yeah. And you could do ground beef or chicken or turkey, but we're going to do turkey and chicken. Yeah. To keep it more lean. So these are our ingredients? Uh, I actually forgot one ingredient. What did you forget, Megan? Rice. Are we using rice today? Now, it's up to you. Mm -hmm. You can do the traditional way is with rice. Uh, with white rice, but we've done it with brown and we've done it with no rice. Let's do no rice today. Actually, we can do a little rice. Let's do some rice, yeah. So if you're doing no carbs, then just cut out the rice and it's still going to taste good. Yeah. yeah. But, you know. So you're going to start with your head of cabbage. And you want to cut out this center core. This is probably like the hardest part. But... Watch your fingers, Megan. Um, and your mom makes this part look really easy, but I don't, I don't know how. Yeah. Well, show everybody that you're a regular girl who struggles with <laughs> cabbage. Let me get a different knife. So this part makes makes it easier when you're rolling them. See, and then you have it like a hollow. Oh yeah. Hollow hole. Hollow hole. <laughs> hollow hole. It's a hollow hole. <laughs> Good. Now we have to boil water, and then they're gonna have to soften up. So. How long you boil the water for? Until it's boiling. <laughs> <laughs> How long is the cabbage in with the Oh, oh, um, about like 10 minutes. So take a large pot and then you're gonna fill it almost to the top. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, let's see. So you're gonna do two heads of cabbage. Two heads? Two heads, yeah, because we're doing two packs of ground beef meat. Yeah. So it should be about two cabbage heads. Right. Okay. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Didn't forget how no to problem. Stuff. No problem this time. Um, now we're going to wait for it to boil a little bit and then put it in. So next, we're gonna take the meat and we're gonna saute the vegetables that go in the meat, which is gonna be the filling. Mm -hmm. How much meat are you using? So we're using two packs. Of what? One ground chicken and one ground turkey. 
And remember, you can do the um, beef if you wanted beef. Yeah. We're going to put one egg, kind of like the meatloaf. We do a lot of dishes with meat, don't we? Yeah, you know, remember we tried vegan for about nine months? No, six. It felt like nine, but... Yeah, it felt too long. <laughs> I didn't think it was bad, but... It wasn't bad, it was just different. We love our meat, so... Yeah, it's hard to eat meat up. So now we've found a lot of, like, healthy recipes where you can still eat meat. Mm-hmm. Which is good. We're going to use uh, one onion. You want a large onion. This one's onion. not that big. Oh, onion. <laughs> <laughs> Does anybody else say onion? I don't think so. My mom. Well, there's one more. Person. So there might be another. Oh, there might be more. Did you chop your fingers off again? It's a good thing our knives are not like super sharp. <laughs> what are you going to chopping knife, Megan? It says it's a butcher knife. Butcher knife. That's perfect for chopping onions. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Butcher, chopping, same thing, right? We don't claim to be perfect. We just claim to chop onions. <laughs> Any which way you can. Exactly. Wait, and then... This is, like, super handy. Oh, yeah, I already chopped onions. Hello. And then no cry. <laughs> no cry onions. So that's kind of... <laughs> you kind of like to cry, so that might not be a good show. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> I don't cry very often. But when you do, it's good. It's a good cry. That's right. That's always nice. Okay, take two tablespoons butter mm -hmm. and heat it in here. Oh, this is the funky one. Oh, great. There you go. Okay. The funky one? The funky one. And... So since this is a small onion, we're going to add these. Mm -hmm. Or if you want to use this instead, just use the whole bag. You're right. Okay. Are you going to know how, now you're going to know how to make these. Oh, I already know. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, I just haven't told you all the things I know how to make. <laughs> I wonder why that is. <laughs> now you can just watch my video back. And you'll know. Oh yeah, these are gonna make me cry. Please don't cry. Uh oh. <laughs> You're not kidding. They're super strong. That's all I'm gonna need right now. I'm gonna add the bag. Oh. I mean, it's kind of a lot. Look at the difference how those are chopped and how yours are chopped. Yeah, it doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't, obviously, <laughs> it does not. <laughs> and we do have an onion chopper. Perfectly chopped onion. onion. What's going on with your eyes, Megan? Are you crying today? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, let's do some of that garlic. Oh, our favorite. Yeah. Back to the garlic. Back to the garlic. Do a tablespoon. Or, yeah. <laughs> okay. You're just gonna let these get caramelized, you know? Yeah. Start to be a little see through and then. Caramelized? What's caramelized mean? It turns caramel color. What's caramel color? What color is that, Megan? Uh, can you describe it? Yeah, I can. Oh. It's like that. <laughs> Something. Oh, like. Caramel. Yeah. Like very dehydrated tea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you wouldn't know what that's like. No. <laughs> I'm always hydrated. <laughs> hydrated with coffee. And water. And water. Okay. Alright, so how long are these gonna cook for? These will be like a few minutes. Uh, well, what's that? Are you on high? Medium to, you could do like medium to high. So I mean, how many is a few minutes? Like, we're going to do these about five minutes. Huh? What are we doing here, Megan? Trying to screw up a can of tomato paste? 
trying to open it. That's not working, is it? <laughs> you gotta sweep. No, I think it's time for a new can opener. <laughs> That's what it is. <laughs> I wish we had a nice one. Well, one day. There you go, you did it. So what's that paste for? This is gonna go in here. Now we're gonna add in that bag of uh, shredded carrots. Mm -hmm. Is well, that just a... Is this gonna go into the meat? Yeah. Yeah. The carrots is, is a essential part of the... This is, meat. yeah, this is like the common... Does and this look familiar? Sort of. <laughs> is your mouth watering yet? Yeah. <laughs> How much carrots do you use? A bag. We should probably put a lid on this. So it boils faster? Yeah. Good idea. You're the sous chef. That's right. The wrong size. Oh, the right size, lid, Megan. Oh, we do have that. Of course we do. <laughs> right? Yes. There We're it is. Perfect. Not all your viewers, viewers will know that the sous chef is on point. It's 10 ounces. 10 ounces of carrots. Or if you want to do your own, you could just do like yeah. a handful, maybe. Uh, and let's add a little olive oil. Oops. Is there any olive oil left? Are we out of that too today? <laughs> There's more. Come on, let's, let's, let's refill. This is the one that we always use. Yeah, the first one. Was. Organic extra. See, we have backup. Now the tomato paste. Gonna go in here. So I'm gonna get a spoon. This is probably like my favorite dish to eat, huh? Oh, it's so good. Yeah. You can't get enough of it. And you can make like 60 of them and then have them for like a whole week. Yeah, freeze them. Or <laughs> here they only last like two days, but mm -hmm. you can freeze them, yeah. I'm gonna add just a splash of water. Why are you doing that? Just to water down the tomato piece. But then the onion juice and the carrot juice will probably water it down too. Onion, carrot, water from there. Mm hmm. So these will cook just a few minutes. Parsley time, right? Yeah, now we're gonna take a big handful of parsley. And you're gonna chop it up fine and then throw that into the meat. Mm -hmm. chopping. The good old <laughs> have some good chopping skills there. <laughs> Why not? Award winning, right? Oh god yeah. Oh god yeah. The best. <laughs> How fine do you want that parsley to be? <laughs> Pretty fine. <laughs> Oops, and to the meat. Let's see. Oops. <laughs> what happened there? Wrong one. Oh, yeah. Let's see how much it spreads out. So you're going to mix it to see. And then you can kind of judge if you want more or less. Um, and I think that's good. That's probably fine. Now we're going to check this over here. See how they're like soft now? Yeah. And the tomato paste is like mixed in? Mm hmm Okay. They're still not done. No, they're done. Oh, they are? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, now this goes in the meat mixture. Easy peasy. I wonder if my mom will approve of this so far. Well, I think she will. But I think you're making 
so much more delicious than anybody's ever made. <laughs> You're not biased. I'm not biased. <laughs> I have an icing for you. It's not hard. The whole point is these recipes aren't super hard. Right. We're going to not give you guys any recipes that are hard. Yeah. I mean, this isn't, this is something I could make for sure. Yeah. With very minimal cooking experience. With watching the video. Yeah. How much cooking and experience? It's so delicious. You guys, you have to try this to understand how good this is. <laughs> good. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to add some more parsley. Yeah, it's not green enough. No. It's not. Chopping skills in action again. <laughs> Where do you get your parsley Trader Joe's, right? Yep. And how cute is this cutting board? Oh, super cute. My favorite. Now he wants a bigger one. <laughs> <laughs> I you mean. Think get one as a Christmas present? <laughs> I hope I don't have to wait that long. <laughs> That would be pretty long. <laughs> the sooner the better. Okay, now this is boiling. Oh, the water. So this can go in. The cabbage. Yeah. Can this take how long? Um, I like to check them, but like five minutes or? Five minutes or so? Or ten? Ten, five, ten minutes. Yeah. You'll see me check it. Now, while this is going, now we're going to make the sauce that goes on top. How many uh, cabbage rolls did this uh, cabbage head make, you think? About 20. 20 out of that? 20 leaves? 20, yeah. Yeah, 20 bite size. I like to get the bigger ones. Yeah. Those you got at Trader Joe's too? Yeah. But uh, yeah, the bigger, like the better. Ralph's will sell bigger ones, huh? Ralph's, yeah. Or Albertsons or any mm -hmm. other chain store. Yeah. Right, so now it's sauce time. Now, what are we doing now, Megan? <laughs> More butter, why not? <laughs> More butter. This time we're going to use a lot of butter. What's a lot? Well, first we're going to start with like three tablespoons. Cook that on low. Um, okay, and... Mixer. They're not supposed to see the mess. Oh, what mess? <laughs> Does anybody have a hard time organizing the cabinets? Oh, no. I don't think anybody. Am I the only? cabinets are perfect, I think. Except ours. Yeah, you're the only messy one. <laughs> Great. These cabinets are so fucking organized. <laughs> Five minutes later. Okay. No, that wasn't so painful. Now this thing is like a little, a ninja chopper. Oh, yeah. And if you don't want to do it this way, you can use like a, just a can of tomato sauce. Yeah. But I don't know, I like to use this. You do like to use the paste? Diced the tomatoes, diced tomatoes and then puree them. Well, that can't be easier to open. Oh. There we go, this one's easier. I think it's because it's bigger. Well, bigger is better, right, Max? That would be I don't know. What do they say? <laughs> <laughs> Something about the size of the ship. No the comment. The <laughs> Ooh, look at those tomatoes. Yeah, so put that in here. And you probably have, like, people have, like, blenders or... You can do it. Yeah. Okay. Just mm -hmm. enough to get it saucy. Yeah. So the sauce is in. The tomato's in. Now we're going to do the same thing with an onion. Oh. This onion's going to get blended up just like the tomato. Mm -hmm. And we're going to mix it together. It's like opening a present. Mm -hmm. All right, 
right, so the onions are in there. Onions are in, you're gonna puree those. Yeah, let's do it. Because if you just chop them, it doesn't give that consistency. Yeah. So a ton of onions in this dish. <laughs> yeah. And actually, onions are good for you in a lot of ways, right? Oh, they're very good for you. The source of vitamins? Mm hmm. A lot of vitamins. So you can kind of check this, it's starting to get, they're starting to get like soft. Mm hmm. Okay. And this is the sauce that's going to go on top of the casserole. Yes. Right? Mm hmm. Kind of an onion, tomato. Buttery. Buttery onion tomato salad thing, so. And so here's more butter. Jesus. <laughs> How much butter do you want in there? A whole stick. A whole stick. <laughs> What's a few whole sticks, man? Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know. You just like the stick. The butter. Yes. Well, they're gonna. Ketchup. Now we're gonna do a squash and ketchup. Well, that's not happening. Oh, there it is. That's almost like a piece of art. Yeah. So look at that drawer again. Here's so we're out of garlic salt. But we have some other salt. We have right, so this is garlic salt, pepper. So yeah. we're gonna do. And then a little bit of onion salt. Okay, we're just gonna let that cook for a minute. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna add sour cream and flour. Okay. And maybe more butter. <laughs> no more butter, Megan. Or more butter. It's just like more butter. We should have a shirt that says that. Yeah. <laughs> more butter. That's right. Okay, so while the sauce is like cooking, we're gonna start taking off the outer leaves because those cooked quicker, you know? Oh, so they actually come off the cabbage. That's the way I like to do it, yeah. Right inside the pot. Because I think that the outer ones get soft. So I'll do a few at a time. Is this something my mom taught you, or you just kind of figured it out? I just kind of figured that okay, out. Okay, so that's a little different than... So how did you... You didn't see anybody else do that before. Or you could take the whole thing out and just peel all the leaves off. Mm -hmm. But I like to have them, you know, soft first, and then... Uh, okay, so you're going to want to let those cool for a minute. You're going to start wrapping them up, huh? Yeah. They're hot. Oh. Don't <laughs> throw your hands, Megan. You're too late. And you're going to cut this little piece out like a little triangle. Mm -hmm. That's the trick, right? Not super hot. Yeah, they're really hot. Um. Okay. Now this, we need to season the meat a little bit. What are we using here? More Kinder? Yeah, we're going to use this one again. Yeah, we use that pretty much for everything. Literally the best. <gasps> oh my god. Well, that's a problem. No, we're going to scoop some of that out. <laughs> scoop it out. Oh, you see that side you don't want to open. Megan, why would you? It's actually not that Scoop bad, though. Some of it out. It's not going to be that much. How much do you, do you think that's good, good, a lot of seasoning, or no? It's actually not going to be that much. Okay, then just use it, then, I guess. Yeah. So, careful, because that will happen. Oops. <laughs> but look, it actually worked out. I think you might be right. Yeah. And did we put ketchup in here yet? No. Okay, let's do a splash of ketchup in here. A splash. Just a, a squirt. <laughs> what did you say? A squirt. <laughs> There's a lot of oil. Okay, that needs to be on low. Since the sauce is boiling, let's put a, some flour and sour cream in now. Flour, that's a good addition. That is a good addition. <laughs> Oh boy. 
Oh yeah. That was way up there. It's a good thing I'm tall, huh? How tall are you, Megan? Five ten. And of course, Megan, don't dump extra flour in there. Right? Don't want to have an excess of fat. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Oh my god. There you go. Look how much easier that is. Oh. <laughs> you could stir with like two tablespoons. Yeah. That might just be enough. Why are we putting flour in there? Do you, do you know why? The reason that? why I put flour is because your mom did. And you don't really know why? No. Mm. We might have to look that up. <laughs> just, no, don't look it up. It just tastes good. So. Well, what does flour do to the dish? Oh, it makes it creamier. <laughs> <laughs> Flour makes it creamier? <laughs> or thicker? Oh, thicker. <laughs> Are you sure? Yes. Mm. Flour's a thickening thing. <laughs> thickening thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I swear. I swear. Now, how much sour cream are we putting in there? So that's going to be like two tablespoons. Okay. And then we're going to let this just kind of yeah. do its thing. How's that boiling thing going? Is that too... That could be turned down a little bit. And now we can roll over. Mm -hmm. Okay. Our seasoned meat. Our very well seasoned meat. Very seasoned. So you're going to put a good, a good spoonful. Okay, so you layer it like this. Mm-hmm, and then you just kind of wrap it up. And there it is. Come on, and where do you put it? Now, we're going to put it here for now. Why? Let's put it in the pan. I like to saute it. Oh. Okay. I think it's good to try to get them, like, pretty full. Yeah. When they're small, you just don't, they don't taste as meaty. Well, yes, Megan, if stuff is small, probably won't taste as meaty. Probably not. <laughs> right? Oh, well, see, that's a good one. Because why? Because the cabbage wasn't too soft, it was like easy to roll. Okay. So they're big, but it's okay. And actually, if you want to, which I've done, here, I'll show you guys an option. You can make this into two. Two cabbage rolls? Yeah. That's for the smaller one? Yeah. Kid size? Yeah, like kid size. And actually, our kids like these. Does it look? There we go. Okay, what we're gonna do with these is before I put them in the big pot, mm -hmm. and here you can use like a Dutch oven. Yeah. We're going to. We're gonna them. With a little olive oil. It just kind of gives them a little, like just a minute, like quickly. Okay, so now that they're kind of a little golden and crispy, we're going to layer them in the pot. And it'll end up being like two layers in there. Yeah. That almost got me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and we can take off this. These are definitely... Super hot, super boiling. Super hot and done. Never mind the mess in the sink. There's some people that like keep the kitchen like spotless while they're cooking. That'd be. And that's not me. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful mess. That's fine, yeah. What are we doing here? Now we're going to take this out. 
Wow, where's that gonna go? We'll just put that right here. You can lay it on the side. And that's wa oh, that water's real hot. <laughs> <laughs> so again, you're just gonna peel off the leaves and let them cool. Mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. Okay, so this is the rice. We wanted to show you how they were without with the rice and now here's with the rice. And you're gonna put like one cup. Yeah. And then we'll get cooked inside. Yeah, it cooks with all the moisture of everything. And it makes them definitely more filling. Yeah. I mean, you could still eat like 10 of them, but. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then you're just gonna go back to wrapping the way that I showed you guys. Can you see it? cabbage roll heads do you have today to make mm -hmm. this will make a lot like i don't know but heads how many heads do you have oh we did two oh, okay. and then if you want to be sure you can grab three it depends on the size so two to three now remember these are just going to go back in there And it's frustrating at first, but it gets easier. But don't give up. It's like making a burrito. We added a half a cup of water to thin it out a little bit and then two more tablespoons of sour cream. And we stirred it up. And stirred it up. We're going to give it a little more water. Another f half a cup. So we added like one full cup. Oh, it's getting creamier. And then you can kind of taste it as you go. It should be about done. So now we did the first layer, and then you can pour a little bit of sauce over this one. Is that the best tool to use for that layer? Oh, probably not, no. Yeah, let's use that little ladle, or whatever you call it. Measuring cup? Oh, which is <laughs> handy with all kinds of utensils. <laughs> okay. So you layer the sauce. Layer it in and then you're going to put another row. Okay. So we're just finishing up here and filling the pot. Now this isn't the whole batch, but I just wanted to show you guys. Yeah. And then we're going to cover it with the sauce again. Just enough to cover them so they cook in the sauce. And then I like to add parsley. So how many cabbage rolls are in there? There was about 20. Yeah. So one of those costs makes 20. Yeah, so I guess the one head of cabbage makes about 20. Yeah. So I'm thinking you guys want to get like three heads. Because some of them are going to end up falling apart or... Okay. 
Mm. Probably should be heated slower. Let's do three seventy five. For one hour. Yeah. [noise] Yeah, that's okay. [noise] Three seventy five for one hour. That is not a lot of food. Yeah, for one hour. Yeah. See all the meat and stuff. [laughs] Yeah. [noise] Yeah, pretty much. Only gonna take up half of the space. [noise] [laughs] Yep. [noise] Oh, okay. That's good. [noise] Yeah, I don't think we need, though. [noise] If we do, it'll be for our next trip. Yeah [noise] Oh yeah, that's true. [noise] [noise] Okay, do you want, just break, just break bread? Okay. Do you guys want bread? Uh, nah. Nah. Okay. Just break bread. You wanna break some bread? Yeah, let's break some bread. [noise] Yeah, let's break some bread. [noise] Yeah, don't wanna [inaudible 0:49:26.87] Who wants to make bread? [noise] Do you wanna make some bread? Yeah. Nah, nah. Okay. Not even close. Cool. Cool? [noise] Jeff actually just started making bread. Yeah. [noise] Oh, what? Here. Oh, Jeff. [laughs] Nice. You wanna make it? [noise] Mhm. It's ready to make. It's ready to make. Make some bread. [noise] Oh, okay. Make some bread. [noise] Jeff started making it. Oh, really? Yeah. Mhm. I wonder, like, uh I'm gonna do this and then this and then this for a couple of days. Woah, that's a big coffee. Okay. [noise] Yeah, like the meat'll like, develop more slowly. Yeah. [noise] And then I'll start stirring with the eggs. Well, I'm gonna do this first. Oh, you are stirring with the eggs? [laughs] Yeah. Whatever. So, I'll pour some out. I'll pour some out. You pour some out? Oh, you're 